Hey y'all, like the title suggests, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to update your Azurock BIOS using the Instant Flash utility that comes in your motherboard. If you like tech, when you're on a budget, you like gaming, you came to the right channel. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this kind of content, there's a dislike button. If you don't, there's a comment section below. Don't forget that subscribe button and that notification bell while you're down there. Let me roll the intro and I'll be right back and we'll get into how to update this BIOS. Alright guys, like I said before the intro, today we're going to be going into the Azeroth BIOS and we're going to be updating that BIOS. I'm using a little bit of an older system for this. I'm using my girlfriend's system that I put together. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put the link up here. It was building a $200 office with general purpose PC. I built this for her because she don't, she don't do video gaming, she don't do editing, she don't do nothing like that. She surfs the web, she pays her bills. You know, she does Facebook, that's about all she does with a computer, so she didn't need nothing real powerful. And it really don't matter, but I'm going to run down through the specs of her system, just for y'all that's curious. Uh, for the CPU, we have the Intel G3930, which is, yes, it's a dual core with integrated graphics, which is what she runs, which is more than enough for what she does. We have the Azeroth motherboard, which is the B250M Pro 4 motherboard. Yes, it's an overclockable motherboard. The CPU ain't overclockable. When I put this system together, that was the cheapest B250 motherboard that I could find. That accepts for a processor and didn't require a BIOS update. So that's why I got that for the system. We have Kingston 250 gig A A2000 M.2 NVMe drive in it. We have Hyperfury X 8 gigs, 2 4 gig DIMMs running at 2133. Again, she don't need the higher speed RAMs. Because you don't do gaming or anything that really requires it. For the case and power supply, we have the combo of the Raid Max Vortex V3. That's got the 450 watt power supply already built into it. That's what she's still running for today. So that's the specs of the system. If you've seen my video on how to update the BIOS, either, well, I've got two of them out actually. You want to update the BIOS on the Gigabyte B450DS3HM motherboard. I'll put the links to them up here for you in the cords if you like to go watch them. This is pretty well the same concept. Gigabyte calls a Q flash, Azeroth calls an instant flash. It's pretty well the same process, the same procedure. And yes, this is a little bit of an older mother Intel board, but this should work for any Azeroth board or close to it. You know, they all got the basic same same bias to them pretty much. Uh some of the new motherboards may vary a little bit. You may want to, may need to look around in there a little bit more to find the tool section to find the instant flash utility. But it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I know a lot of people look up these videos on how to update these biases for the Ryzen 3000. This is an Intel build. It's going to be pretty well the same. So uh, let me roll the clip of how to get this done for you and I'll be back at the end with my conclusion. All right, guys, you got your Google. Type in the Azeroth B250 Pro 4, which is the motherboard I have. You go to the manufacturer's website here. There we go. All right, guys, once you get on this page here, you scroll down here to support. Go to BIOS. Whenever we get in there, we'll see what version we actually have. Um, looks like the latest version is 2.50, which was 329 of 18. Um, it updates Skylight CPU microcode, microcode and revision C2 and KB Lake CPU microcodes for revision. 84 for CPU security updates, improves memory, memory compatibility. You go over here to your global downloads. You open it up. Okay, it comes in as extracted, so you have to extract all. You hit your browse. You go down and find your thumb drive that you installed, which mine's letter D on the computer. Hit select folder and hit extract. All 
All right, and that's done up. It's done extracting it. You leave the flash drive in. You come over here to restart, and you keep tapping your delete key. Okay, you get into the BIOS here. And here's the specs of your system. You know, the Intel 3930 process speed is 10 total gigabytes of memory is 8. Um, you come up here and uh, switch to advanced mode. This is the way I do it. You go to advanced mode. The UEFI version is the B250M Pro 4 P2.10. Okay, we'll go up here to Tools. Go down to Tools. Go down to Instant Flash. And it recognizes the file. And you hit the Update. And you hit Yes, and you let it do its thing. Now it's restarting. Tap delete. Gonna go back up here to advanced mode. And you can see the attack effect. I guess that's the way you pretty well do it. Um, I forgot to mention in 
doing that clip when you get to the website and you look down through there there's three different ways that you can update this bios depending on which way you're going to do it you need to make sure you select the right one you have the one that I used which was instant flash there's also a DOS or a DOS mode that you can go into to update this BIOS or you can update this BIOS through Windows whenever you download the BIOS you need to make sure you're downloading the correct one depending on which way you're going to do this there's three different versions of it there's three different programs written to do this you know and this is an example I showed you how to use the instant flash utility so I downloaded the instant flash there's three different versions you know there's it's all the same version of BIOS just three different files depending on which one you're going to use so you want to make sure you get the right version for the ASRock motherboard but this is a pretty simple process like I said this should work on any ASRock motherboard some of the newer motherboards you know the 470s the 570s the you know some of the newer Intel's you know you may go into the tool system a little bit different to get into your instant flash this ain't quite as easy as what the gigabyte was because it has the it has a key flash right there on the main screen this one here you gotta go into tools to find it which still ain't that that big of a deal it's an extra click of a mouse button but that's gonna pretty well wrap it up for this video guys make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like this video hit your thumbs down if you did and there's that comment section i'll go through them every week on my live stream saturday morning 11 o'clock eastern standard time while you're down there, don't forget that little lonely red subscribe button with that notification bell. That way you know next time I put out a video or I'll go live. With all that being said, you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video or live stream.